Hey guys, it's Matt here again. Um, in this Photoshop tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a picture look very old, like from the 1800s, when the, like whenever cameras first came out, but from way back. So I'm going to open up uh, one that I've already done. This is when I was fooling around with the effect. You know, um, if I zoom in for you, you can see the original photo right here. It's really different than. Hold on one sec. I have to. Photoshop changes my settings sometimes on me. But, anyways, you could see the original and then the edited one. It's a lot different. It, I don't know um, if it looks like really realistic, but it looks realistic to me, anyways. Um, compared to the original, it's a lot different. It looks a lot like more messed up because of the like uh maybe these could be coffee stains or just some kind of stain you know if you pour water onto a picture it'll stain it and it just brings out a really cool effect so let's close this and let's get started so this is a picture i got um i get all my pictures from www.sxc.hu um, go there if you're looking for all different kinds of stock photos it's a pretty good site um, really good but anyways <clears throat> I have a picture of a church here which I'm gonna put the effect on to um, what we want to do first is duplicate the layer you can either right click and say duplicate or hold down control and press J so let's work with layer one, the copy layer. What we're gonna do first is go to image, uh, adjustments, hue saturation. Make sure you uh, the colorized box is checked. Now we can either work with this black and white or like a sepia tone, which is around 30, I'd say. And then um, make sure you don't saturate it too much because uh, then it's just going to look really fake. See, it's not going to look old. It's going to look edited and all that. So keep it. I like to keep it around 25-ish around there. And I like the, step, the sepia tone a lot better than the black and white. Um, I don't know. It just brings out the effect a little bit. And then we're going to lighten, uh, darken the image just a little bit. And press OK. Now you can already see it's starting to get that old kind of look to it. Next what we're going to do is go to our uh, levels and edit that. So hold on control and press L and your levels come up. Well, we're not going to bother with the input level. We're going to work with the output level. What you want to do is the left arrow, drag it to about, I'd say around 10. And what that does is take it sucks the shadows right out of the picture basically. Because old cameras didn't have really good... Um, I don't know how to say it, but they couldn't capture things as well as new cameras can these days. So press OK, and you can really see it's starting to look old now. Next, what we're going to do is go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. And this is just going to add a little bit of like dust to it. Um, because, like I said, um, old cameras couldn't capture everything. And if you really looked at old pictures, they did have like that noise effect on them. So I'm going to keep this at around 14. Oops. Yeah, 14 is about good. Maybe go up to 15 even. You don't want to go too high because then it will just ruin the effect. And make sure it's on uniform for distribution and monochromatic is checked. And press OK. Next step... What we're going to do is make a new layer on top of the copied layer. Um, switch your foreground color to white. And hold on Alt and uh, press Delete to fill that layer. Now once you've done that, switch your color foreground color back to black. And what we're going to do next is go to Filter, Render, and then Fibers. Now what this is going to do for our picture is add that like for lack of better words, rusted away kind of look to our picture. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it. But um, 
try to get the fibers almost looking like this because if you do too much variance or too little variance like here see there's like nothing there so I usually stay around 15 anywhere from 15 to 20 and I never usually go higher than 20 um the strength I want to put up to about 30 I usually always do that um it's all personal preference like I usually say but you know for this kind of stuff you don't want to go too over the top so press OK and now what we're going to do is change the blending mode to screen so that's going to take out basically all the black um, since this looks really bad like doesn't even look like a picture we're going to lower the opacity down to about 20 I think that looks good and you can see it's really starting to get that old effect um, it's really starting to uh, look like an old picture from first cameras that came out what we're going to do is merge merge that layer down and um, like this is the basics for it you don't really need to do anything else if you don't want to but I always like to go over the top a little bit um, what we're going to do is add a new layer make sure your foreground color is black go to our brush tool right there and then uh... let's see i gotta replace the brushes no okay so uh, man. there we go alright so i have a whole bunch of brushes right here it's a whole big list but if you have any grunge brushes they work very well for this effect um, i have a bunch of them there's more than this around here but um... let's just click one of these alright that works pretty cool um... grunge brushes like i said really work really well for this kind of effect and just click like around there see and this looks like there's almost a tear in the picture so it works pretty it works for magic let me tell you um, don't go too crazy with this um, you don't want to overdo it and then I'm going to get a different style grunge brush out and right there oh not those sorry I'm going to go to these there we go okay so let's see which one can I do I don't know which one will look good on here um let's see alright I think that'll do some good alright so I'm going to make that a little smaller and then just click okay so this looks pretty realistic but to give it even more of a realistic look we're going to set this to overlay or maybe not overlay let's try screen okay well, that doesn't work either. Alright. Um, I think multiply works. And then put the opa opacity down to about 50. I think that works pretty well. So that's basically it. Um, you know, com here's the original. And here's the old one. Um, it looks pretty realistic like I said. Also, if you want, if you want to know how to get that little original picture up here, whoops, like up over here, um, just let me know in a comment or something message, and I'll put another tutorial about that because I don't want to make this video too long. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe. Comments are always good. Um, any video requests, just ask. Do it for you. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.